We live in a non-Christian culture, and it's ever-growing. I mean, I, I used to live in California, so I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. But I think part of the reason the world is trying to drown Jesus out is because of the claims that Jesus makes. You see, Jesus, he wants to be first. In Matthew chapter 10, Jesus says, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Jesus says, it's all about me. Treasure me over everything. Put me over everything. And you could say, well, what about our life? Yes, especially your life. You see, that message, that's not favored by the world. Because the world tells you that life and all of this is about you. Every commercial, every song on the radio is about finding your joy and your love here in the world. But see, John the Baptist most famously said, he must increase and I must decrease. Because John understood that life is not about me. Why? Because when Jesus becomes greater in the world and I become less, then the world becomes more the way he designed it. And when that happens, my joy, my thrill in life, making God known, that helps me feel like I'm a part of God's plan. Being used by God, seeing God's plan comes together, that's how the world is supposed to work. You see, this isn't about me receiving credit. This isn't about me receiving recognition. I don't need more likes. I don't need more subscribers or more follows. It's not about my influence in the world. I have to adopt the same attitude as John the Baptist. He must increase, I must decrease. Now, right now, all across the world, church attendance is down. Now, not just at Walden Community Church, but everywhere, even at the church you attend or used to attend. Why are people staying home? Why haven't they returned to church? Well, true, the Delta variant keeps some people away. There's still the fear of being in large groups, contracting the virus. I get it. But for many Americans, they're just simply out of practice. You know, it was a habit and now it's not. And for the most part, staying home on a Sunday is just something they do for themselves. And so we can all relax. And so we can sit on the couch, catch up on housework, catch up on emails. Sunday off is for fishing and hunting, for grilling, for watching the game. Sunday is a me day. But that's not why God made the seventh day. No, God made the seventh day so that he could rest. It was God's rest day, not ours. Because God made the world. God runs the world. It's his world, not mine. And traditionally, the seventh day is for him. God gives me six days a week for me, and all he asks is one day a week for him. So Sunday isn't about me, it's about him. He must increase, I must decrease. Yeah, but my family and I, we, we watch church online. Great, but, but that's not church. That's a, that's a show. Jesus calls his church the body. And so in order for a body to work, it must be together. If I took all the parts of your body apart and scattered the pieces, would your body still work? Of course not. And when you stay home, you lose touch with the rest of the body. You need to taste the bread and the wine with your own lips. You need to hear the songs of the choir and feel the music vibrating the pews and the floor. You need to see with your own eyes the lost soul who walks in and sits in the back. And you need to use your own words to bring him comfort. And you need to use your own arms to comfort him. You can't do that when you're watching church online. The children and the youth who come to this building, they need to build real relationships with you. And your children need to build real relationships with us. My kids need to grow up and know other church members, young and old, even if it's through a mask. In fact, even if the very word we use, we translate from the Greek as church in the New Testament. It means we have to come together in person. Even John begins his gospel by saying, Jesus came in flesh and dwelt among us. So Jesus didn't fix it all from his couch in the sky. No, he came. He physically came into this world. He made it a better place because he showed up. Yes, COVID is still going strong. But what about the kingdom of God? Is it going strong? See, the world is going to try to silence Jesus' voice more and more every year because Jesus wants our love. He wants our time. He wants our lives. And he wants to be number one. 
And the world doesn't like that. Is Jesus number one in your life today? Is he the thing you think about the most, the thing you love the most? Can you say like John, he must increase and I must decrease? See, at Walden Church, this Sunday, we're going to talk about how we put God first every day. We're in a series called Living Our Best Life. And we're going to talk about how to make him first, how he increases and I decrease. And I hope to see you there.